welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a, I don't know what kind of makeup look this is. This is kind of like a go-to kind of look for me. Just kind of experimenting with products and brands and stuff. Because all of the brands used in this makeup tutorial are cruelty free. I found this picture that had like a list. You probably know the one I'm talking about. It had a list of all the brands that don't test on animals and they're totally cruelty free. And yeah, so I wanted to create a makeup look using only those brands. Because I know a lot of people are vegan and are really kind of for just using brands that are only cruelty free and I know some of the big brands that a lot of people use actually might test on animals so people might feel they can't achieve the same sort of look or they might just not be aware of some of the brands that are cruelty free and don't test on animals so yeah I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I kind of created a look that I hope most people will enjoy and find wearable and they can switch up and just do whatever they want with if that makes any sort of sense. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up if you did and you like the look of this makeup look and let's go ahead and get started. So for this look we're going to start fresh face and apply our primer, I've been absolutely loving the Too Faced Hangover X primer I think this is and you guys know I'm obsessed with using my Real Techniques brush to blend it in and this brush is also cruelty free along with Too Faced products so yay two of my favourite things like I said been loving this primer and for foundation I felt like being a bit more full coverage today and I am using Cover FX this is their oil free foundation and I like to kind of put two dots on my face and then spread it out because like I said it is quite full coverage and then this just helps to sheer it out and then using the Real Techniques Expert is it the expert? No, that's the brush. Their Miracle Complexion sponge to blend this out. Then filling in my eyebrows with my favourite Anastasia Beverly Hills products. It's the Dip Brow in Medium Brown and Blonde. And for concealer, I'm taking this it's a two-in-one concealer and contour stick from Nude Sticks and I'm just taking the concealer end and then just placing this underneath my eyes. I've been loving using concealer pencils recently. They blend really effortlessly, especially using a sponge as well and like I and it also works as a really good brow highlight. Sorry guys, I am so, so, so tired. My words literally just aren't coming out. But yeah, using it as a brow highlight as well and then blending it in with the same sponge I use with the foundation. This just helps kind of make sure everything merges together and because the pencil, it can be quite full coverage, this just helps to share it out as well. Once that is all blended out, it's time to set it in place and I'm just taking this NARS pressed powder, just pressing that in everywhere that I highlighted to make sure it's locked in place, it's not going to crease or move and we stay matte all day. I've been really reaching for this recently, it is the NYX Duo Contour and it's in the shade 2 to Tango. I love how olive toned this bronzer is and obviously it comes with a blush as well, which is a really gorgeous peachy mauvey colour. And I always say I'm not a massive blusher wearer and this one is super super subtle as you'll see. So the perfect combination, so this is a really handy product to take with you travelling. I keep saying this but I love using cream highlighters before powder ones and this is the Becca Liquid Illuminator in the shade Moonstone. I just like to dispense some onto the back of my hand and then press it onto my cheekbones to kind of warm it up and blend it in as we kind of already use powder so you don't want it to sit cakey on the skin so using your finger like I said really warms it up and makes sure it blends really easily as well. For powder highlighter, I am taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminate in So Hollywood. I really couldn't find this anywhere online anymore. So I linked the Laura Geller Gilded Honey uh, highlighter, which is such a dupe for it. And Laura Geller is also cruelty free. So don't you worry. 
With our skin done, it is now time to move on to our eyes. I am taking the color Chickadee from Makeup Geek because Makeup Geek eyeshadows are cruelty free and don't test on animals. So the majority of the eyeshadows we are using are from Makeup Geek. But yeah, just taking Chickadee, which is a really lovely, warm orange. It's like my favorite transition color on a fluffy brush. And then taking the color Frappe to further deepen up the crease. Then as always, going back in with our initial brush, I always like to switch up my brushes to make sure everything is blended in together. Using a much loved Cocoa Bear shade, again using this to further deepen up the socket and add a bit more depth and create that gradient effect. Just keep blending. I love to just blend it as you can tell always switching up the brushes. Then I am taking Sunset Boulevard from Colourpop because Colourpop Cosmetics is cruelty free and this is such a gorgeous shimmery bronze colour and it is part of the K-pop collection, so the one that they collaborated with Karuchi with, I think that's how you pronounce it. But then going back in with one of my fluffy brushes, just making sure everything is blended seamlessly, switching it out, blending, blending and more blending. Then I am taking the shade Bada Bing, also from Makeup Geek, just concentrating this on our lash line on the outer third and then taking it up into the crease, still only concentrating it on the outer third, just to make sure that it creates that kind of smoky effect and I didn't want it to be too intense either. Back in with those brushes again. Then I am taking the shade Shimmer Shimmer and then applying that to my brow bone and inner corner and then just going ahead and applying mascara. I love this one, I haven't used it in ages. It Cosmetics is cruelty free obviously. And then using the NYX Wonder Pencil just to open and brighten my eye. Then taking the shade Frappe and running that on my lower lash line and then just going ahead and applying a bottom lash mascara after that. But I did kind of want my lower lash line to be a bit more intense so I'm going in with Cocoa Bear and a flat brush and just pressing that along my lash line. This makes the NYX pencil really stand out and make the colour of my eyes stand out as well. For lashes, I'm using House of Lashes Spellbound. These use synthetic hairs, so they are also cruelty free as well and they are my favourite at the moment. And then I'm just going ahead and applying a nude lip and I'm using the Jane Iredell pencil in nude and then filling it in with this Jouer Cosmetics. Uh, lip cream in the color buff I think it is. I googled it and Jouer is cruelty free as well. And then finally you can either leave it matte or I topped mine with a gloss and this is the Fairy Floss Gloss also from Colourpop Cosmetics and yeah it's like my favorite nude combination at the moment. I'm in love with it. It's a really gorgeous pinky color and I'm obsessed. So that is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this cruelty free tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!